Well, Brock, the fans were out and shouting J-E-T-S Jets well before the gates opened here. And now they fill the stands of MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and 10. First play is to the air. And his first offering of the game lines up incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And now it's second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Second and ten now. Dump off complete to his running back. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Shotgun now on third down. Cox, there's that rookie out of Florida State. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They'll throw it again. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. They gain 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First down, ball at the 36. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Give him around six, that's gonna make it second and four. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers and they will tell you small ball can win too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. From the 30 on second down. Quick hitter complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Quite the opening drive they put together, partner. New set of downs all the way down to the 25. Allen. He'll get this to Samuel. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. On first down, they'll run. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Again, it's Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills finish up an excellent opening series. Josh Allen, the touchdown. 
Well, he couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. going to be taken in at the eight and that's where they'll begin the drive following the return they're out and set first and ten Paul takes it straight ahead and he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. So we're through one quarter of this AFC East contest. 7-0 is our score. More for MetLife coming right up. Time for the second quarter of play. It's Jets football. They've got second and seven to start. Now Rodgers hits his man on the out route. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it'll give the Jets a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Hall running between the tackles. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Well, Kate, a two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They go right back to home. And he's brought down at the line. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Now here's Rodgers. Complete beyond the marker. And he's taken down at the 30. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Offense sure is marching to begin this game. Here's a first down from the 30. Coming right is Hall. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. Here's Hall once more. Broke through the tackle. And he runs out after a very nice game. They're going to have to hang on to that momentum, though, as we have reached the two-minute warning. The drive picks up here, first and ten. From the red zone now. The Bills getting close, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. And right there's the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators, when you get a nice run, right, you gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts, and reacts well with a sack. Trying again, following the sack. Got Williams, and it's complete. And he goes out, approaching that 10-yard line. 
Kate, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Third and six for them to figure out now. Here's Rogers. This throw is caught. And he almost gets to the five. He goes out at the six. It's a six-yard gain. That sets up first and goal. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Has it in close. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They are throwing it again. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Jets earn the chance to tie before halftime. Brees Hall with the touchdown. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. Greg Zerline for the point after try. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead. And that's going to award their offense a first down. is the Jets kickoff team now to tee it up and send it away. And he got all of that one, that's for sure. But with our new kickoff rules in play this year, that means the football is going to be spotted at the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Coleman with the grab. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 38, he completes it in traffic. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Here's Allen. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he's going to be across midfield, close to the 45 before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts are just so... Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 47. 
Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. So now they have third and short. Defender's not going to be thrilled. The catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little join after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up. It cost him that catch. That one was incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. And that leaves them with a decision to make on fourth and short. I think that was a throw, Kate. It just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And this one gets out of bounds. It was pushing some distance towards the goal line, but gets out at the five. Now for the second time this game, we get a look at the New York offense. And with field position and the clock against them, probably not going to see anything of substance here before halftime. Beginning a new drive here, but just 16 seconds to go before halftime. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They get 13 on the pickup. And it's good enough for a New York first down. That brings us to halftime, and these teams locked up on the scoreboard. It's a 7-7 ball game. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida, in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. His return starts at the five. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Well, we got ourselves quite a game today, a tie game coming into this third quarter. And what you're looking for is a little instant jolt of momentum coming out of the locker room. And that return might just be the spark that leads to that momentous fire. First and 10 now from the 30. Rogers to throw. Complete to Williams. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They'll run here on first down. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. Here's second and 11. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Third down from the gun. after a gain of 26. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. They go play action on first. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. The call play action would have been better to actually give it to him on a carry right there, Kate. The front was fooled well, for about a split second, if that. And that play call ended up working in their favor as it leads to a sack. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. Complete out to the right. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. To throw, Rodgers. That's 
going to fall incomplete. Either way, he was breaking it up. Couldn't hang on to the pick, so hits the ground, brings up fourth down. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, he just couldn't quite hang on. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. On is the Jets' kickoff team now to tee it up and send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Allen to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. It's a gain of 22. And that's good for a Bills first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. One play in and already they're close to midfield. They bring their tight end left. Allen setting up to throw. Connection made to Coleman. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's Bills football. They trail late, but this game's still very much in reach. They come to the line here. This is third and six. He's back to throw. Oh, he put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. I mean, you can see it right there. The trajectory of the ball changed as it was in flight. You know, on shorter throws, receivers, they can focus, they can adjust quickly. But on a long distance throw like that, a tip, well, it really alters the course of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. The Bills with a punt team out there. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Kick is away, and this one might bring Lane. Wow, what a kick. The Jets have their offense ready to go again. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal, despite advancing the football pretty well. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Rodgers set to pass. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets up to the 14-yard line before he stopped. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Shotgun snap, a give to home. Avoids a defender. We've got a foot race. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And it'll give the Jets a first down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. 
I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Cut by Lazar. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. This is Hall. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. To back carries here and it's barely anything on that run and we've reached the two minute warning the bills are gonna go ahead and call their first time out and they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game third and six for them to figure out now They give it to him again. And he's brought down beyond the marker. So a first down for them as we've hit the two-minute warning. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Another carry for it. And it's barely anything on that run, and we've reached the two-minute warning. Now the Bills use their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Second down now, seven to go. Six on the run as that play takes us to the two-minute warning. A solid gain of six there. It's going to be third and just a yard. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Third down, one yard to go. Setting up to pass. That's caught for the first. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. He manages a gain of eight there. And it'll give the Jets a first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. And they'll take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Second down, probably going to see him kneel it again here. So the win goes to the Jets. And it still shows up as a victory for him, Brock, whether they score 50 or they have a rough day putting points on the board. So for my partner Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a well-earned win for the Jets as we say so long from New York.